Tonight we head inside one of the UK's most haunted houses, the Railway House. The house, built in the 1800s, is said to be so haunted by the tormented spirits that occupy the house that the owner will not stay here herself. Spirits such as the pit workers that died beneath the property in a collapsed mine shaft, Robert, a young man in his 20s, said to have the mental capacity of an 8 year old child, can be seen and heard playing in the house. His father, the train driver, who reportedly killed a policeman in the house before hanging himself in the stairwell, has said to be seen waving from an upstairs window at children passing by. With so many tormented souls still said to remain in the building, we head inside and try to uncover the truth and find out what and who remain trapped inside. It's a bit of a mad one, eh? <laughs> it does matter. But it is really interesting. Like, it's only a small cottage. Yeah. But Florence Nightingale lived on the land here. Yeah, it's got a lot of history. Now. Yeah. Some of the stories we've been told, um, there was a Thomas and William, they were miners in the pits at the back of the house. There is tunnels that run underneath this house. And there were three miners that were killed. William, Thomas and one who was unnamed, a John Doe. Um, we also have stories of a little boy that stole something and the policeman came round to check on him. Yeah. And the policeman was found dead in this room three or four days later. And the, guy found and the guy that lived here was a train driver and he was found hung above the staircase. Was Robert, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that was Robert, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Um, Robert was the little boy that was stealing. Yeah, yeah. yeah but he was like in an adult, yeah. so he had the the mind of a of a small child. But he has been seen here as well. <coughs> but absolutely amazing little place. See the crosses on the walls, old rocking chairs. We actually have a Ouija board set up here, and we've lit all the candles to get the energy going. In this cupboard is all items that have been found whilst digging up the back garden. So we've got old bottles, kids toys, possibly Roberts, little action figures, an axe head. And apparently this was found in the garden and two mediums who didn't know each other came and both gave the same story that a woman was killed by this axe. But you can see all Christmas cards that have been found here as well. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Mm. We do have trigger objects around the house. Teddies, we've got a dibbuck box in that cupboard. All sorts of little trinkets knocking about. These oh. lights have been said to be seen swinging by paranormal teams. But we'll try and figure that out for ourselves. Oh, the bell, bell. The bell. So this bell was found in the garden by a builder which is very strange for me because I was actually given this last week and look at that is that not a sign? <laughs> same little imp how mad's that? that's my lucky imp and there's one on the bell here <coughs> definitely a sign that we should be here I know it's strange isn't it? Yeah. but like we said there is all sorts of bit there nice old cooker gun up on the wall here once again, these lights have been seen swinging. A lot of activity has actually happened in this house, they reckon. Kids toys for Robert. We have this little aeroplane. Hoping that doesn't go off. <laughs> Imagine in the middle of the night. <laughs> More candles to get the energy going. And apparently, this was a cellar that has been concreted up. You can sit and maybe we'll do that Estus method we've been trying to do. Could possibly sit in this chair. It's a good place to do it. Well, it's above the pits, mate. Above <laughs> yeah. the pits. So we are going to try a few new things today. Like I said, we're going to do the Polaroids. We are going to do the Estus method and just see what we can come up with. So I'm just going to start 
take a picture into this corner. Wait for those to print off. I hope these stairs now. Just leave that picture and we'll check them out afterwards. This is literally my worst nightmare for a room. We'll go in there in a sec. What's strange about this place? Strange smell when you come upstairs here. It smells like ashy or like smoke, but I don't see any smoke damage in the place. Here's a strange one. Another bedroom. Apparently William or Thomas have been seen stood at this window waving out to children that pass by. We are going to try and find out if these stories are true guys. Obviously you get a lot of rumours with paranormal and we're just going to try and find out if this is real. Check this room out though. Look at this guys. Absolute worst nightmare. Strong smell in here. It's like musky. Did something move? Could be the floorboards. So the owner was telling us about this doll. She was actually given it by a neighbour on the day the neighbour died and people have used equipment and got the neighbour's name whilst stood near this doll. Apparently she does move. She likes to have a little wonder. This is Lucy. Another doll that's apparently haunted. But look at this, absolutely disgusting. Another Ouija board on the side. People have been coming and naming the dolls. We've got Kay, Ruth. These are names people have picked up whilst being near the dolls. And look at this little guy here. Apparently this little terror sits up, lies down. If she blinks, she's gonna get absolutely leathered. gonna take one more picture in this room and see if we can get anything there well downstairs I think and then we'll check out the Polaroids and we'll set up the equipment and away we go guys we've set this room up there's the dolls room check out that it's like a shadow in front of the mirror if you can make that out, but it's a really dark patch in front of there. Seems to be a really dark patch here, Matt. Look, you know, under the rocking chair. Yeah, that's a room room. I was on it. Yeah, there's nothing there though. No. That would cause that. No, even like look at it, it's not like a different shade of colour either. No, it's a really dark patch underneath the chair, and then one in front of the mirror here. It's a bit strange, a bit of a shadow. Doll's room, nothing. Stairs, normal, and the room where he's seen looking out of the window there, all pretty normal. It's just these two. Yeah. Down here. Dark patch around the rocking chair and dark patch around the mirror. Yeah, that's weird, that mirror one though. Look at it. It's like a shadow, like a. Yeah, like a mist. Very peculiar. Are you ready for this? So this room is set up. We've got K2s, K2 in the cupboard. K2 next to the teddy bear there. So a couple of cat balls, one on the chair, one on the planchette, and one above the cupboard there. Fingers crossed, we'll pick something up in this place. We are gonna do some shout outs, hopefully we'll get something. I've, I've got a good feeling about this place. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay guys, so all set up in the living room area yeah. the room where the policeman was apparently found passed away on the floor here murdered by the train driver train, train driver yeah. train driver so we're just going to do a couple of shout outs if there's anyone in this room with us can you set off one of these devices for us just turn this on that would help wouldn't it matt yeah. it would help definitely there's a few devices in there, isn't there? Yeah. So that should settle down now. Okay. So if you'd like to touch one of the devices, any of them will change colour. They'll make noises. They'll let us know that you're in the room, in the house with us. The red one will make a loud alarm and let me know that you're here. The music box, if you walk in front of there, We'll set off a tune that you might like. And we also have the balls on the chairs and candles. 
So if one of the spirits that are said to be trapped here are still in this house, can you come forward now? Just want to say we don't mean you any harm being there. My name's Adam. I'm Matt. We are just here to communicate with you. Try and ask you some questions. Do you mind us being here? That's quite a start. Yeah. <laughs> Always how it goes. Should we turn this uh, new de new uh, device on? No, go for it. Give it a go, can't we? So necrometer. <coughs> I am family. Straight away. Straight away. I am family. If we put it on there. Yeah. I am family. So it's just come straight. Weird, up. Right? I it's am family. As soon as you put it on, it came. Okay. Yeah. If you'd like to touch one of the devices, you can copy me. They do not harm you in any way. They will just let us know that you're here. What are you thinking, Matt, so far? A bit strange, I am family. Yeah, straight away as well. But as soon as you put it on, it just came straight out. Yeah. Is there a William or a Thomas in this house with us? It's not here. It's not here. It's not here. Underneath. She said they were in the pits. Yeah. Find me. Mate. Find me. He's asking where are you? Find it's, me. It's not here. Find me as soon as I ask where. Can we have a clue? Give us a knock. Give us a clue where you are. Mate, that's so strange. Find me. Yeah. What's that then? Did you hear it? laughing. You heard that, yeah? Yeah. Was that you who just made that noise? Can you do it again? Cut ball behind you, mate. Mate, run pop. Find me. They're playing with us. Mate, that's <laughs> quite close to it. Gone. <laughs> it's just stopped. Thank you for doing that. Can you maybe go close to that music box near the window? Can you set another device off? Smile. Smile. Mate, it's <laughs> creepy, that's you know. Smile, it says. <laughs> we just heard laughing. We did, mate. But the cat ball went off and then the REM blood went off. Sure. Sure. Was so that you laughing? Was that you we heard laughing then? Set another device off. Let us know. Mate. That was well clear. Yeah, that was a full on bang, mate. Can you do that again for us? What's that say? Probably. Probably. <laughs> mate, that's so weird how those two devices went off and then Can't left. Again, mate. As you were saying that. Just... <laughs> oh my god, something good is going to happen. <laughs> something good is going to happen. Mate, what is going on in there? And this new device thing is like proper creeping me out. It's good. What's gonna happen? Can you do it now? What stupid thing to ask? Like, they're obviously winding us up. <laughs> Tell us your name. Tell us who we're speaking to. <gasps> Something. Wait, the K2 spiked. spiked. Can you get closer to it? Put your hand right over it. Mate, when you said that... It K2, like... mate, straight to red. Did it? Yeah, get closer to it again for us, please. Ah, oh, I see it. Something good is gonna happen. 
and then both the devices spike. <laughs> that was actually so good. Uh, thank you for doing that for us. Mate, how long has it been since that's gone off as well? Yeah, I think, honestly, the last lie, time man. was the Tiger Mansion, the, the um, hang ones. I swear that was the last time it went off. It was. And that was weeks ago. Something good is going to happen, and then all the devices went off. Cemetery. 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 Didn't the woman say there's like chapels and graveyards there's around? There's a chapel up the road there, and then a chapel either end of this yeah, road. Um, is that what you're referring to? Oh mate. God, mate. Okay, too, as well. At the same time. Exactly at the same, the same time. time. That's crazy. That is actually crazy. Get closer to it. Put your hand right over the antenna. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We really appreciate you doing that. <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. K2 mate, every time. Can you tell us your name? Who's doing this? On the stairs again? Yeah. Is that you on the stairs? Set another device off for us. Mate, that's so strange how we heard the knock on the stairs again. Yeah. It was more strange, mate, is the fact that the, the REM pod's going off on the K2 at exactly the same time. Mate. Yeah and stopping at the same time. Two devices at the same time. We would really like to know what your name is. Can you tell us how many people are here? Mate. I mean, it's not me, like I'll move back. We're miles away. Yeah, it's, it's really not me. And it's when we're asking questions. Tell us how many people are here. message what's the message what message do you have for us is it trying to tell us a message through the ramp podium mm. is that I what you're trying so. to do I think so you're trying to tell us through that device do you know what I was just thinking you know what you said earlier what you said to you about the bell yeah she said, don't ring it four times, because Steph gets pretty active. Someone got pushed on the stairs, and I think it was a bloke, and he actually hurt his arm, he had to go to hospital. And some other woman uh, got pushed in through here. But she said, if you're gonna ring it, only ring it three times, don't ring it four. So ring it four times. <laughs> Should we do it? Uh, I think it's weird how I've got the exact yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. I think that's very strange. I mean, to be honest, I'd rather listen to her advice and not ring it four times, but... So ring it four times? Ready? I didn't even do that! I didn't even do that! You joking? I didn't even move my arm! Can you do that again? Look, I'm moving, it's not ringing. I didn't even move, mate. I can feel it moving. I can see it moving. Can you ring this bell for us? Mate, that's honestly freaked me out because I didn't move my arm and then when I've just moved, it didn't even go off. Shall I see how much I have to move my arm? Mate, <laughs> mate, I didn't even move my arm. I'm swinging it and it's not going off. Can you ring that bell for us? Ring this bell for me again. Put all the energy into that bell and ring it for us. Oh. That was me. <sighs> Negative. Negative. Mate, that's so mad. Look how much... And it's not banging. It's not belling. Whatever, <laughs> what do you, whatever a bell does. Mate, let me move. <laughs> What's weird, mate, is I can feel it moving inside it. Yeah, I can, like... Your hand is not moving, mate, and that is swinging. Is it swinging? Yeah. Ring this bell for me. Mate, that has honestly freaked me out. I can tell, mate. I didn't even move my arm and went... What was that? The hell was that? One of the candles had gone out. 
I'm not even joking, man. I swear there was like four candles. Three. Four candles? Huh? And another one's just gone out. What the hell? I think that was Mate, me. what is going on in here? Gregory. Gregory. She did say one of them was a John Doe. Yeah. So we could get a name that she doesn't know. I can feel this moving in my hand, mate. It's freaking me out. Like, this is... Was that you, yeah? That was me. Like, this place is meant to be haunted, which we know. I'm going to ring the bell four times. I think you've done it more than four times, not it? No, but I didn't ring it. Someone's close to that, mate. It's just off. Can you tell me what's going to happen if I ring this bell four times? Tell me what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do it. Mate, this, this bell has freaked me out big time. One more. Come on. Mate. Yes. Prisoner. Prisoner. I rang it four times and the bloody thing went off. <laughs> and it said prisoner. So the light in the mood there, we're both alive. Wisely. Light and in the mood, wisely. Very wise. Come on, set this device off one more time. It was like a creaking floorboard, mate. Someone's walking on the stairs. Come into this room with us. Deborah. Jesus. Deborah. Deborah. Is that you walking on the stairs? Come into the living room. That was full on a footstep on yeah, the stairs. It was, it was a creak. Sarah. Sarah, getting loads of names. And it does say Tan Spirits. We'll have to count the names, won't we, and see how many. Okay, guys, so we've got keeping the same setup as we got so much activity. But we're just going to use the spirit talker and we're going to do it in complete darkness and see if uh, we continue to get the activity. What? What? There was a noise in here, like a creak. A creak? Yeah, like a, I don't know if it was in the corner or above me. Victoria. Victoria. I just want to see if we continue to get the activity we were getting. Yeah, yeah. So can you tell us if any of the miners are with us? Was it the tra is it the train driver, or is it Robert? Maybe one of the dolls, one of the spirits that possess the dolls. Are you in this house with us? Do you hear that? Yeah. Flash. Flash. But you pull those cameras. The flash from before. Yeah, with the with the camera and yeah. Polaroid. Yeah, maybe. Was you the shadow that we seen in the photograph that we took? Was that you? Oh, <gasps> mate! And the K2? K2, exactly the same again. Mate. So that's obviously them that we've caught on the yeah. photograph. Can you put your hand over that rampart for us? Over the device? Get as close to it as possible. It's got four different modes. How mad's that? Mate, we're literally just talking about it. It said flash. Yeah. I thought it was in there. Can you tell me which person we caught in the photograph? Was it Robert? The young man that lived here? Was it one of the miners? 
that apparently passed away in the pits beneath us. It's fucking draining us. Ugly. Ugly. Calling us ugly. Cheeky sod. <laughs> she did say that he was a, a childish spirit. Robert. You don't call the spirit childish, mate. What the hell? He just called us ugly. <gasps> mate. So is it Robert that's with us? Do you want to play with one? Mate. When I said Robert. Get closer to it. I want to get close to it. It's almost like if we ask it something, it doesn't do it. Yeah. And cold is ugly. Did you pass away in this house, Robert? Wasn't his dad the train driver? Yeah. Was it? Pretty sure that's what she was saying. Was it your dad that killed himself in this house? Robert, we don't mean you any harm. We have just come to find out if somebody is still in this house. We believe that somebody is. Can you confirm that by touching one of the devices for us? Hear that on the stairs? Yeah. Another knock? Yep. I think we're gonna have to head to the stairs, mate. Yeah. Or at least upstairs. Is that you on the stairs? Can you make another loud, obvious knock for us? Grave. Grave. Mate. Grave. Another knock. I heard it. I heard it. Thank you for knocking. What's in your hand? <laughs> What's in your hand? <laughs> Look at the camera, mate. Mate. It's just a camera. It's just to record anything that goes on here. Would you like to be in our film? In our video? <gasps> Are you recording? Mate. <laughs> what the hell? Yes, we are recording. Would you like to be in the video? You can make a knock. Oh mate! God. Mate! Mate, I've got like shivers on my face. Same. Mate. <laughs> Wait, this is amazing, isn't it? Edna. Thank you so much for doing that. Must be in the vid. You can be in this video as much as you want, it's up to you. You can make some knocks. Really let us know that you're here. I had a bad past. You can tell us about your past. Can you tell us what happened? <laughs> I can't believe you got, are you recording? Mate, are you recording? What's in your hand? Are you recording? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> like, what is going on? Car. Car. Literally, car. a car just went past. Yeah, dead man. <laughs> Lost all focus. It's back. <laughs> Doesn't want you in the video. He wants to be the star. Mate, that is crazy. Do you want to be the main focus on the footage? Do you want it to be all about you? My childhood. Do you want it to be about you, my childhood? I had a bad past. Yeah. If you can communicate through physical things like knocks, that'd be amazing. You don't have to just use the devices. I know it takes more energy, but it's more confirming for us. Make some of the stuff about me as Insane. It's it? insane, mate. Would you like us to have a walk around the house? Maybe if we keep the spirit talker going and just walk around. Oh, mate. It's, it's crazy because everything's happening. Eternal terror. 
Eternal terror. Eternal terror. We're gonna head upstairs to where the dolls are. Apparently it's a really active room. Do you wanna come with us? Do you wanna join us in that room? That's literally what I say all the time. <laughs> That's literally what I say all the time. Lad. Are you mimicking me? He's got a sense of humour. Mm. Called as ugly. Still not forgiving him. <laughs> Mate, I heard that, yeah. Is that you on the stairs? Lad? Right, so we are up in the Haunted Dolls room. We are surrounded by these horrible little fuckers. <laughs> Can't say that. Right guys, so we are up in the Haunted Dolls room. We're surrounded by these horrible little... Music box critters. Music box finally decided to go off onto a closed door. Well, apparently, mate, that, that doll in that prom... Moves. Actually moves, yeah. It lies down and it sets up. Well, better not let me catch her. <laughs> Swear to God. But guys, we are going to go back to the necrometer. And we have the flux machine, the yes no machine. Going to keep that going. That music box. What the hell? There's an orb literally just moved in front of him and it went off. Really? I swear to God, man. What's that say? Permit. Permit? Permit, yeah. Can you tell us the name of who's setting this device off? Who's setting the music box off? Mate. Who is doing that? We also have this triangular device. You can do green on the left for yes, right for no, if you'd like to answer any questions. And you can also speak into this device as you have been, or set off one of the REM pods around the room. K2s. Yeah. Mate, I just thought the hell of an idea. What? I'll take, do it because of the music box going off. Shall I take a Polaroid? Yeah. Up the door. Yeah. So Robert, do you still want to be in our video? Is that you that's in the doorway? You're welcome to come in. If you'd like to open that door for us. Hide. Hide. Hide, Matt. There's no hiding from us. I'm gonna take a photo and see. Yeah. Yeah. Direction. That did say flash earlier as well, didn't it? Yeah. Robert, if you'd like to step away from the music device, you can come into the room. Can you set the device off that's sat in the pram there? Is there any female spirits in this room with us? Apparently, some of these dolls are possessed. Obnoxiously. Obnoxiously. Right, let me just stop that for a sec. Yeah, see. there's something going on there like that. Right. Is anyone that... What's that? No. And it said, I don't know. I said, it better not have. And it's, it's gone to no. I was literally about to say, is any of the dolls in this room, does it ha do they have any attachments? Bro, these are horrible little things. Yeah, they're so creepy. Look at these, oh look at her, they're looking straight at me. <laughs> You're gonna catch these hands. Oh, I don't like this one here, mate. No. It's got like big screws on. What's happening? Six o'clock. 
I nearly pulled that whole cupboard over then, Matt. <laughs> I'd go right back in, wouldn't I? Imagine all the dolls landing on your own. Oh, I'd be sick everywhere. <laughs> so, Robert, are you in this room with us now? Is there anyone else in this room with us? Use that triangle device, the blue flashing device. If you want a, the red device in the pram again. That was quite active downstairs. And obviously the music box went on a mad one up here. I'm just trying to listen out. I keep hearing like noises, but I don't know if it's... Uh, be quiet for a sec, see what happens. Yeah, you were there. That was two footsteps. Yeah. Almost straight away when I shut up. Let me shut up for a sec. Is there someone walking around? No results. <laughs> what is happening? Can't see anything on this Polaroid map. Is there not like a dark shadow near the door? There actually is. False. There I actually is. Like... I can't see anything on the Polaroid. False. Oh, mate. Look, hold that on, I'll point. Look. See how it's yeah. straight and then yeah. there's something bending yeah. there. And that wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't be a shadow, would it? No. And that's I don't where think so. the. Music box was pointing. It is literally. Do you know what it looks like? What? It looks like someone peeping around the door. Oh my god. Can Isn't you it? see that? It's like an arm and like a shoulder. Yeah. It's like a bluish shadow. It looks like someone stood there. Is there somebody in that doorway now? Can you set one of these. Th <laughs> Lucidity. They're everywhere. Mate, that is so weird. Do you see it? I can see it from yeah. here now. Well, you can see it on there. No, I can see it on oh, the photo. Oh, I was going to say. It's getting clearer, look. You yeah, can see it. It's legit a shoulder and like a really long arm and a head. Open that door and come in. You notice the music box not going <laughs> yeah, off now. Yeah, it's stuff now. I don't know, and the things just said yes. And it said I don't know, and it said no before. So both times this has gone off, this has said I don't know. K2 again. K2, then. yeah, seen that. All the way to red. Can the owner of these dolls... What was that? Did you hear a bleep in them? A bleep, no. I swear I had a bleep, mate. What the hell did I just hear? Can you do that again for us? Two footsteps. This place is insane. That's me. What did that say? Same stuff. What did it say? Oh, Bobby. Bobby, policeman. How are you there? It's weird because the K2 started going off as well. Did it? Yeah. Have you seen these? If you got anything thrown, could you put it here? Yeah, and you've got five uh, yeah. things that have been thrown. <laughs> so Bobby, policeman. Old name for policeman. I can't believe There's a policeman that actually passed away here. I can see that so clearly now. Yeah. That's crazy. Come on. Give us one last rush. Give us something. Come on, Robert. Robert, Bobby. Is that the same name, yeah? Yeah. Like nickname. Bobby short for Robert. Certain. <laughs> Bobby short for Robert. 
I'm so bad with the names. Aren't I? Certain. Oh. And that's just green. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Come on, Bobby. Come on, Robert. Set one of these devices off. Let us know that you're in this room with us. Leave her. Leave her. Leave who? Can you be more specific? Leave her. Would you like us to head back downstairs? Performance. This is crazy, there's so many. That is through two different devices as well, the yeah. Spirit Talker yeah. and the new Necrometer. Yeah, and it's given the same sort of... Yeah, yeah, it's just so relevant. Yeah. Bobby, we're going to head downstairs. We're going to have one last attempt to speak to you. Is that okay? You going to come with us, Bobby? <laughs> Mate. K2 went to as soon as you said that. Mate, that's crazy. Let's head down. Side. Did you hear that? Yeah. Sound like a crime. Yeah. Gonna head downstairs and do the Estes method. We've yeah. never done it before. And they feel like this is definitely the place to do it. <laughs>Okay, so Robert, are you still in this room with us? If you'd like to speak to Matthew through the device that he's holding in the other room, can you tell us what happened when you had a bad upbringing? I can't. Can you tell us how many spirits are in this house with us? Underneath. Are the miners still here? Under the house? Lounge. Can you tell us the name of the unknown miner that apparently died here? He died. There was William, there was Thomas and another man. Do you know his name? The Shadow. Do you know what happened to the policeman that was found here? Apparently he was found in the room I'm in. I don't know. Do you know if any of the dolls have attachments to them? Sometimes. Was that you that we seen in the photograph upstairs by the door? He's friendly. Can you tell us if that was Robert? I can't tell you. I've just heard like a metal pipe. Not now. Can you tell us how the policeman died? No. What happened? Is it true that there was a, a man hung on the staircase? Apparently he was a train driver. Yes. Do you know if he's still in this house with us? I don't know. Is he here with us tonight? No. I'm lonely. Is it Robert that I'm speaking to now? I can't tell you. 
Is there any messages that you'd like to pass on? Not now. If this is Robert, can you tell me how old you are? Do you know that you've passed away? I do. Do you know how you passed away? No. What happened? Is there any female spirits in this house? Any attachments to the dolls? Some. How long have you been here? Sometimes. Is there any evil entities in this house? Yes. If there is any evil in this house, do you know their names? They want you. Do you mind us being here speaking to you? No. I'm lonely. Right guys, gonna go get Matt and see if we got anything decent. Yep. Well You there? Yeah. I'm good. How'd you get on? I don't know. Did you I get the stuff? Yeah, I got loads, mate. Did you? Yeah, like full on. Like full on. That'd be so interesting. <coughs> oh Jesus. That'd be well interesting to go through. Yeah. But I was getting like well I wasn't getting like full on sentences, but I was getting like no, yes. That makes I'm sense. lonely. That makes sense. Right, should we try one it's more thing? So weird the name. I feel like proper dizzy. Like genuinely. Like Wait. halfway through I was like I was proper like getting all like weird. That's mad. <laughs> right, should we try one more thing? Yeah. Let's go. Right, so if there's anyone that wants to speak to us before we leave, come and speak to us now through the device in my hand. Go, that sounded like, didn't it? Yeah. Do you have a message that you'd like to pass on? Mate, that's swinging. Look. Slightly. Is that you that's making that light swing ever so slightly there? Bobby, are you still with us? Does that say light? I think so. That's why I said light. Robert, are you here with us still? Have you had fun tonight with us? Time. Do you like that we've been here with you? Communicating with you? Is there anyone else that would like to come through before we leave? I know it's taken a lot of energy tonight. If you can use our energy, just talk to us through this device. Can we get the name of the third miner? No. That sounded like it was underneath us. Yeah, that was so weird. It was like such a deep thud. Mate, she reckons there's a basement in there. Yeah. Right, we're gonna, just going to ask something before we go. Is there a basement underneath us that's been covered? Is there anybody down there? Can you tell us if there's a basement underneath this house? Are you keeping it a secret? Can 
Can you tell us how the policeman passed away in the living room? It's a bit of a mystery for the owner. Could you give us an answer for her? It's fairly quiet on now, isn't it? Yeah. It's interesting to go back through. Hmm. Go. Go. Mate, I'm aching. I am. Aching. Yeah, I'm mad. My shoulders. Yeah. My back. Everything's just yeah. like, oh, I need my bed. <sighs> All right, guys. We are going to leave it there. This house has been absolutely amazing. Yeah. So much activity. So many voices coming through. Knocks bangs equipment going off on cue i've absolutely loved it it's been insane. insane insane so if you have enjoyed it guys remember to hit that like button it really helps with the videos it really helps with uh pushing them out if you want to leave a comment if you've missed anything or if you believe you've seen something and 